on the surface, nothing much has changed on Thailand's beaches. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the crowd go wild! Thank you. But the death of the king has cast a shadow even here. Well, to be honest, I felt quite upset because you could see the emotion in, in the people's faces. I mean, everywhere in the streets, people were crying. You could, uh, the, the place was devastated, absolutely devastated. Tourists are being advised to be careful. Swimwear is still fine in the resorts. Away from the beach, though, the advice is to pack one of these, a long-sleeved dark top. It will be seen by ties as a mark of respect. And people should watch what they say. Insulting the king can land you in jail. 72-year-old Colin Marsden says his Thai fiancée, Pa, has made it clear just how sensitive a time this is. She'll soon put me right. <laughs> and, and make me conform and do what is expected for the situation, which is... A, she makes you know, sure you don't say the wrong thing. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't. I would never do that anyway, because... <laughs> Many clubs and discos are now closed for up to a month. But bars and restaurants remain open. You might be pleased to hear that you can still have a drink. Alcohol is being served, but you might want to draw the limit just a little lower than normal. Don't get too drunk. Don't make big party and it might be upset people. The message is simple. Along with the sunscreen, pack a little cultural sensitivity. John Sudworth, BBC News, Hua Hin.